Ah, that frontier too. It's nice to see you again, in a weird way. How's it going everybody? My name is Armando and welcome back to a Dead Frontier 2 video. So guys, it's been quite a while since I uploaded a Dead Frontier 2 related video. Reason being is because, well, the game started off strong, but after like a good four for a week, uh, people started realizing that this game was lacking a lot of content, as if though it was just incomplete. Like a huge sandbox with just zombies and guns and pretty much that's it. So, I mean, you can understand why a lot of people have left it. Obviously, there's still people playing the game, around 300, 400 people playing it. Which is, honestly, if you think about it in terms of different tier, popularity isn't so bad. But, Ahmed has recently uh, announced that he's doing an open world. And obviously, with inclusion of the outpost attack, which was honestly very amazing. I mean, you can tell it gets pretty fun when there's like hundreds of zombies around you trying to chase you. That's that's just awesome, Ahmed. I mean, I feel like sometimes we have to blame ourselves for kind of rushing this. I mean, we could say, hey, Ahmed put it out because he was confident about it and he should have waited. But at the same time, us as a community should have been like, hey, Ahmed, make sure this game comes out perfectly. Outpost attacks all included. Clan blah etc because when you think about it guys the game doesn't look too bad you know that the only problem was again it just like content it just didn't feel like that frontier now the reason why that frontier 2d and 3d were more or less successful is because well it was just awesome i mean if you had like a usas you know when the first when the game first came out or a gau or anything like that you just felt awesome you know wave after wave of zombie with your clans you know you you and if you were the only strong one there it just felt great you know helping your teammates out you know and them looting and completing missions again it just felt like an actual zombie game and that's no exception with Death Frontier 2 obviously the graphics look better uh, the way the zombies move better you know it just looks like an overall more appealing game granted you know, the game is missing a lot of things, you know, again, outpost attacks, you know, we could have been defending from the rooftops, you know, maybe craft things or maybe have vehicles. And now that open world is coming, hopefully we can kind of see these changes coming into the nearby future. Again, I I can't really blame Admin too much because, well, he's one developer, one programmer, one coder, and just making a game of this altitude is just insane. I mean, it's like, you know, doing 50 assignments and having to get them done in four days. It's just a lot of work and stress for just one person. And on top of that, after, you know, people started complaining about the game just lacking content and just being, again, boring, it can kind of destroy someone's, you know, motivation and, you know, self-dignity. Because, again, you put all this love and time into a project only for people to look at it and shit on it. So, again, I kind of don't blame him for taking a long break from Different Tier 2, especially when he announced that he was going to stop working on it because that's where all us Different Tier, you know, fans were just, like, heartbroken because... This again, this was the future. We were hoping for a better different tier game, and we thought this was the answer. So, just like 3D, my prediction is you know, this game is going to take a very long time to develop because 3D took a long time to get to where it's at. It really was. Uh, when the first came out, there was no interiors, there was barely any missions, and it was just again, just like different tier 2, it was missing content. And over the years, yes, content was made for it here and there, and it pretty much established a really nice community. I mean, granted, there still are some scammers, some people you know, who's sell accounts online but hey that's typical for every single game honestly that's online to be honest so like i said different tier 2 with open world hopefully it's a great success because again a game that looks that great and that pretty has to have open world and open world can go for both ways it, it can either make a game or just break it because if open world is more or less boring and you're traveling for an hour and there's nothing to do well you can again understand why people will get bored so hopefully open world can be successful for Death Frontier 2 because I would love to make videos on it, especially with the new generation today. You know, if a game has pretty graphics and it has great gameplay, you best be knowing that a lot of people are gonna write on it. And to be honest, it'll be a great way to kind of just have different play styles, you know, clans and the way you loot and the way you have to be quiet, strategize. And especially if there's bosses on, you know, in the open world, that'd be awesome to kind of interact with other people saying, hey man, I'll take this side, I have a sniper rifle, I'll take it from the back, or yo, you have a minigun or a submachine gun, you guys can take it from that side. So again, you can understand where I'm coming from. So hopefully when open world is released on Sunday, I think he says it was going to be released the 8th, which I'm going to be there for. I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to live stream for that day, guys. I'm going to be, you know, awesome for you. I'm going to live stream that day. So if you guys want to hang out and about, uh, you guys can look forward to that. Probably live stream about 6 p.m. Trying out the open world. And yeah, if you guys just want to come through and interact, that'd be awesome. I'll play with you guys. And I almost forgot, I'm going to make a brand new account for this open world because I feel like, hey, it's a new leaf. 
you know, why not make a new account? Because again, the account I made, it just kind of got a little boring. And honestly, I feel like, you know, again, it's a brand new beginning for Death Frontier 2. You know, open world, uh, outpost attack, and well, we might as well just start from the beginning and show these people how it's done, or how I do it from the beginning, you know, that way you guys can see my progress over the years. And like I said, good luck, Admin. I hope open world is a huge success for you. I'll be there waiting for it, and I'll give it a second chance, Admin. So this is Armando signing off, and I'll see you guys very soon. All right, all right, guys, take care.